Does this tiny 200 watt LED really have more power than this behemoth 300 watt? Godox says it does in their spec sheet, so let's check it out and see what's going on. Godox says that this LA200 200 watt LED has a lux rating of 101,000 at one meter using this included reflector. Now that's fine, but Godox says that this much bigger, more expensive SL300 version 3 300 watt light only has a lux rating of 99,300. That's 1.7% less than this light. That's less expensive. And taking into account, we're using the same reflector on both of them. So how can that be possible? Because technically, if this is 200 watts and this is 300 watts, this light should be 50% brighter than that. So let's take a look and actually see what's going on with this. We conducted our own lux test with both of these lights using the included seven inch long throw reflector here. And the results were actually very close to what Godox had published and we got nowhere close to a 50% bump in power output between a 200 and a 300. So what is exactly going on? The key to this puzzle is the included reflector. Let's take a look at the chip size here to determine what's going on. On the LA200, you can see it's small but not tiny until you compare it to the SL300 and you see that this one is about 50% bigger. And I'm talking about that yellow portion in there, which is where the light comes out. Now, what's happening when we put these reflectors on is that it is projecting that light towards the center where this meter reading is being taken. So if we're using the LA200, essentially it's able to take advantage of that full size of the chip. But when we go to the 300, it can only take advantage of about 50%, the same size as that 200, and the rest of it is essentially for this particular purpose, just being wasted. So when we meter with this reflector at one meter away, we get basically the same result. But when we take off the reflector, you're seeing a much more expected result. All of a sudden this 300, the extra 100 watts of power it has compared to the 200 comes into play, plus the bigger chip size. We have now 50% more power than our 200 which is what we expected, which is what we paid for, and which is why this light is much bigger as well. We also conducted a softbox test, and as expected, the 300 is much more powerful. So what's the takeaway from all this? Well, the good news is that you didn't waste your money if you bought the more powerful light. The bad news is that it's still kind of difficult to have an apples to apples comparison with LED lights. But fortunately, at Strobe Pro, we've created the Strobe Pro Power Scale, which adds these lights on and gives you some real world comparisons to help you make purchasing decisions as to what power to get in a variety of different Godox lights. So be sure to check that out. There's a separate video and there's actually a blog article as well. So until next time, I'm Jesse at strobepro.com and enjoy creating.